Hey, it's Alex here again from iDesign, here to talk about the new VexCode IQ Block software. Um, we're going to show you how to get set up, where to find it, and how to set up a simple program with it. Um, it was officially released a day or two ago, but it has been in preview for a couple weeks now, so I've had a little bit of time to mess around with it. And I really love it. But um, if you didn't know where to find it, you go to the VexIQ page, go down to VexCode and Software, and then if you scroll down to the bottom, you can find the download links. And there are four different versions of it. There's a blocks and text version for both IQ and V5. Um, and you can see the IQ blocks version here and the IQ text is coming soon. And they are looking to implement this for the same, uh, the same type of differences for the V5. So when you open up your first project, here's what it's gonna look like. So right where you have your when started block and there's the file menu up in the top left corner. You can open projects. You can open example projects. Um, and right at the top, these are all robot configuration templates. So if you click on them, it'll populate your devices. And then there's more um, example programs below if you want to see what they do. And there's also really helpful uh, tutorials if you've never used block style coding or if you just want to get really familiar with IQ blocks. Um, Vex IQ brains have four slots you can choose from, and this is where you select which one you're using, and you can also name the project and save it as whatever you want. Now, I haven't connected the IQ brain yet, so it's going to show this white screen and no other options. So as soon as I plug it in, it should light up green. You can click on the brain, see that it's up to date with the firmware, see the settings, and you can also download, run, or stop your program from this. So let's test our first program to see that's working. We're gonna drag out our print hello statement and just run it. You don't have to save it, you can just test this one out and here's what you should see. So now that we've established that we can go ahead and run a program, we're gonna start by, the simplest one is adding a motor. So we go to devices, add a motor. This is our ARM motor, so it's in port 10. I can name the motor specifically. I can uh, change the names of the directions and reverse the motor as well. So now that we've added the motor, you can see that it just populated all these different commands that we can use with that motor. So this shows you how to very simply um, program and configure a simple motor. Now you could use this to um, drive the robot forward, but we're also going to use the drivetrain um, configuration because it's just a little bit easier. So you set the left and right motor ports. I'm using a standard one, so I don't have to really mess with any settings. And now you can see that there's also drivetrain commands that are a little more specific to the drivetrain. So we're going to start really quick, um, just a simple drive forward and lift the arm up routine. And that's going to be the start of our uh, cube lift program. So now we run that and let's see what it looks like in action. So it drives forward, just lifts the arm up. So now that we've got that done, we want to have it drive forward with the cube, set the cube down, and then drive backwards. So just a few more steps. And you can see that um, since we named the motor, it has a name for when you go to select the motor. Um, if you had more motors, you could um, change our motor to any other motor that you were using. And you also see that since I put raise and lower, you can also use those as terms for the direction that it's spinning. So now we have our full simple routine just to lift the cube up, drive forward, set it down, and drive back. So it's going to drive forward, lift up the arm, drive forward again, lower the arm, and then drive back. And that's our simple cube lift routine. You can do that on both sides of the field and get an easy 20 points each. So that's just a really great starting point for Vex IQ blocks. And now if you're familiar with Scratch, you know that there's a ton more you can do with it. Um, they really tried to model it after Scratch to give users a familiarity. And there's also a help um, in the top right corner. So if you click that question mark and highlight any specific uh, block, it'll tell you the parameters and how to use it. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, iDesign offers um, training on any more advanced coding topics or anything like that. So if you have any questions, let us know.